We turn now to another major story we're following tonight. A key witness in the trial of a former Dallas police officer convicted of murdering her neighbor is now himself the victim of a homicide. Joshua Brown lived in that same apartment building and his emotional testimony helped convict Amber Geiger. Tonight, investigators are looking for his killer. Was it linked to that testimony? Here's ABC's Kaylee Hartung. Tonight, Dallas police trying to piece together a murder mystery that some are calling an execution. The only thing we heard was uh, one shot and then a double tap after that. A silver sedan seen speeding away from a parking lot turned crime scene. The only victim carrying no form of identification. But tonight, police revealing that victim was Joshua Brown, a key witness whose testimony may have helped convict former Dallas officer Amber Geiger for the death of Botham Jean inside the apartment building where the three lived. Brown testified less than two weeks ago, at times emotional, remembering how he would hear his neighbor singing gospel hymns from his apartment across the hall. He also described hearing Jean's fatal confrontation with Geiger. Do you recall uh, ever hearing someone say, hey, put your hands up at a loud tone? No, no ma'am. But it was what Brown didn't hear that night that gave prosecutors reason to challenge Geiger who testified that after she mistakenly entered John's apartment thinking it was her own, she gave him verbal commands to show his hands before shooting. What even heard you say that? I can't tell you why. Well, it's because you didn't say it. Tonight, activists now calling for justice for Brown and offering a $100,000 reward. His family speaking through an attorney say Brown was a reluctant witness and question if his death was connected to his testimony. He was shot and left to die uh, by someone who clearly had an axe to grind. It's important that we answer who that person is because right now there are strong implications at least, no evidence, but strong implications that this may be retaliation for his testimony in the Amber Geiger trial. Tom, authorities have made no connection between Brown's testimony and his murder. They've been very tight-lipped about this investigation. That silver sedan, the only lead they're sharing. There's no physical description of any suspects. Tom? His family has a lot of questions tonight, though. All right, Kaylee, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.